back. So um, this is Plant Lux. My name is Krista and I am here for you every Monday and Thursday. And today I thought it would be a good day to do a repot video, sort of a plant rescue video. And of course whiskey's in the background making a ruckus as usual. And um, yeah, so I thought today would be a good day to show you um, sort of a plant experiment that me and my daughter did to save um, one of these lickety split philodendrons that we have been working with in plant therapy. Whiskey, hello. <laughs> he was in the window. He can't help himself. Anyway, uh, we thought we would do this plant rescue, so we wanted to share with you our experiment and uh, let you know how it worked out. So here we are. So thank you for joining me today. How are you? I know I am well, and thanks to my plants and my kids, I'm extra well. Oh, thank God. And um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone who has supported my channel and supported me during all of these planty videos. And I want to thank, um, you know, thank everyone for their support. And yeah, so thank you so much. I really appreciate everything you all have been doing to support me. Thank you for all of your comments. Thank you for all of your positive energy. Thank you for following me on Instagram and everything you've been doing here to help me on my plant adventures. You guys are the best. Thank you. Who you see in this crazy pot. Um, I'll do a little B-roll footage on what we did with this guy, but we did not know that this guy had some critters down below in the roots. So what we did was we whipped away all the soil. We um, sprayed it off a little bit, very gently, ever so gently. And we treated it with a neem oil for a couple of days. So it's been in this pot for two days. Um, and I handpicked off the, the critters that were in there. Now, what I think they were was cutworms. Okay, so this right here is an identifiable piece of destroyed root from the caterpillar infestation. And we are removing that. That's gone now. I put neem oil extract in the water for two days. So anything there is dead. Good. I'm going to throw it in this bigger pot and we're going to we're going to put this guy here and this guy here together and we're going to make one giant licky split philodendra and it's going to be a showstopper in anyone's home. That's what we're going to do. Before we do that though, this guy's been treated. I want to check out this guy's roots and make sure that you know, there's no weird creepy crawlers in there in the root system down here. So let's check it out first before we uh, go ahead and pot it up.
pretty out. I mean, yes, it's overcast today, but it's still nice out, you know? It's good. What did you guys do today? I guess what I did today was a little bit of plant care. I cooked um, a pork tenderloin and um, I cleaned a little bit, you know, stuff that I don't necessarily love to do, but I did it anyway, you know. You know how that goes. You gotta do what you gotta do. You have your responsibilities. They, they sort of pan out throughout the day. My garage is in desperate need of cleaning, so I tried to persuade my boys to do it today. I don't want to do it myself, so I'm trying to persuade them to do it. Yeah. The garage is great. It's a great place for, you know, yeah. I, I just don't want to clean it. So what have you guys been doing during, like, you know, your, your spare time? We've gone kayaking in a local lake nearby, and it's been a lot of fun. At this particular lake, there's a lot of rock cliffs, and it's so much fun to go kayaking out there. Now, granted, okay, so you're thinking kayaking, you're thinking lots of exercise, right? <laughs> No. My version of kayaking is chilling on a floating device where I get to watch and view very beautiful mountainous greenery. Yeah, that's my version of kayaking. I don't know what yours is, but mine does not really involve much exercise unless it's paddling to the location where it's beautiful and paddling away from the location that's beautiful. That's my version of kayaking. So. Maybe you should share with me what yours is in the comments below because I would love to hear it. And if you ever want to come kayaking near me, you should tell me because I would totally invite you to come out here because I absolutely love it. And um, it's a fun place to be. Yeah, you would love it here. Anyone would love it here. This is like, I feel like I'm in the land of milk and honey sometimes. <laughs> so you need to come here. And you need to go kayaking with me out in these beautiful places. I love it. So come, come out here, put in the comments below. I'll invite you and you can come kayaking with me. All right, so let's take a look at this lickety split because I think I've got a pretty good hold on the soil. By the way, you know, this soil is a tried and true companion it's never done me wrong. It's like the perfect mixture of everything. Um, buy it inside the store if you can. Um, if you can't find it inside of your store, uh, when if you buy it outside, you just have to make sure that you treat it with a peroxide mixture. And I'll post a video on that another time. Uh, that'll be a video where I, I give you a little clinic on how to treat soil that you purchase um, outside of you know uh, a building um, anyway do the best you can to purchase soil that's inside of your local uh, hardware store but if you can't that's okay too I will stake this to collectively together I need to go grab some scissors to cut this and put this all into one but I'm feeling pretty good about this right now it was an experiment so we'll see how it works now remember this one right here had a lot of cutworms and whatnot in it. So we're gonna see if we were uh, successful in saving it. Super excited for our next video and that I want you to come back and see me. Um, and you know, I want you to comment and I want you to talk to me, you know, I'm thankful. So anyway, thank you for joining me today and um, thank you for I don't know, everything. I love you guys. I will see you back here Thursday. Yay! Bye!